Now in part E, we've got to state the meaning of the value B in our equation for the, for the regression line. Now B was the value 2.03. Let's just mark it down here, B equals 2.03. So what is the meaning behind this? Well, okay, it's the gradient, but they're not going to uh, like that if you uh, just say it's the gradient. Now what they want is something in context with the question. And what I'm going to do is just quickly sketch on this regression line. And to do that, what I can say is that when D is 0, F is 15. So that would be a point, say, about here. And I need another point being a straight line. So what I'm going to do is go right to the end here and substitute D equals 8 into there. So if you were to do 15 plus 2.03 times 8, you'd get 31.24. And 31.24 is going to be a point, say, about there-ish. Okay? So what we've got is that the regression line okay, is something like that. So, when it comes to looking at what's the meaning behind the 2.03, as I say, okay, it's the gradient, but what we do is we look at what happens for every unit that we move across in the horizontal direction. So, let us suppose I take a convenient point. Let's suppose I take, say, this point here at the 5. If I was to go across one unit to the 6, which really represents 100 kilometers, then what happens is the graph rises by 2.03, 2.03 pounds. So what we're saying is that for every extra 100 kilometers traveled, the cost goes up by 2 pounds and 3 pence. Go one more unit across there, another 100 kilometers, and it goes up again by 2.03 pounds. Okay, 2 pounds, 3 pence. So that's all you need to write, something along those kind of lines. In other words, for every extra 100 kilometers traveled, the cost goes up by 2 pounds and 3 pence. Now in part F, We've got this rival company which is charging 5p per kilometre travelled. And if Jane is travelling from Bureau to a particular destination, t kilometres away, we've got to find out what values this company is cheaper for. So let's just think about what the graph of this rival company is going to look like. The airfare f pounds, okay, is going to equal simply 0 0.05 times d. 0 0.05 being 5p per kilometer. Now, to plot this graph when d is zero, f would be zero, no cost, okay, if she didn't fly anywhere. Let's suppose though that we go right to this end when d is Eight, or really 800 because it, this represents 100 kilometers. So when D is 800, what's the airfare going to be with this rival company? Well, 0 0.05 times 800 turns out to be 40. That's this point here. So what I'm going to do is plot the graph of the costs for traveling a, a certain amount of kilometers under the rival company. Now, the point at where the two companies charge exactly the same will be this point here. And this is the value of t that they're after in this question, where they cross. Okay, So what we need to do is just come down here and it looks like it's round about that 5. So for values after 500, remember the scale is in 100 kilometers, so for values after 500 kilometers, the cost on the first company becomes cheaper than the rival company. So, the answer then 
will be that somewhere around about 500, I can't quite read this scale, but 500 to say about 505 kilometers. That's our value of T, which makes the first company cheaper than the rival company. All right.